Okay, guys, so welcome to another tutorial with me, Said No. And today, what we want to achieve is we want to detail our elevations, yeah. So, without wasting much time, let's get into the video. I don't want to make a long tutorial, so we want to go to our views, we want to locate elevations, and then we open it up. And for your information, it is established that I'm going to you know, bring out this tutorial, this course, a complete beginner's master guide in the first quarter of next year. So if you are interested, you can, you know, wait. Listen, I have not started anything yet. I'm just putting it together. So I'm going to bring a pre sign up link so that everybody can, if you are interested, you are going to sign up so that when it comes then you get noticed or notified yeah so let's get into the video so what we want to do right here is detailing as we all know is to you know give more information about what we see dimensions text labels and everything to tell the people what is actually on it because you as an architect you don't build you just design it's the job of the constructor or the engineer to bring that whole thing into existence. You just design the house. So after designing it, you're going to give it to someone else. So if you're going to give it to someone else, then I think it's important that the person knows the dimensions of the windows and everything, the heights and everything, so that when they are building it, they know what to do. Yeah. So that's what detailing is about and no and basically we cannot um bring in dimensions with blocks and everything in this particular with this hatching here so first thing first we have to take our hatching off so what you are going to do is you're going to select you see edit style so edit style is time to you go to display properties then you click on this little icon here and then what we want to do is we want to take surface hatching off yes surface hatching you want to turn it off you see okay okay and then it applies to all of it so now we don't have any hatching or anything of the sort yeah so after doing that we want to, you know, edit. We want to take some parts out. We don't need the foundation here. We only need this part of it. And then we're going to draw a line to indicate or to show the ground level. We don't make surface, um, side plans in Ghana. Yeah. If we were to make side, side plans in Ghana, we would bring it in and then take the level down about six inches to indicate the ground level. But since we don't do size plan here, what you are going to do is you are just going to draw lines and then label it to be ground level. So that anybody who is who sees it knows that okay, the ground level is supposed to be six inches below or yeah, below. So first of all, I'm going to okay, let me use this. Let's use this for this example so that the rest I can fast forward it. If I'm to do everything in this video, we won't go here so let's select this and you go to what edit first of all you want to go to edit you don't want any of these sorry we don't want any of these that's the foundation we don't need it so you take it off just like that mm -hmm. and then we want to select this line and then that line those two lines it indicates the ground floor level, um, the finished floor level. Yeah, this line indicates the finished floor level. So I want to change the line from this straight line to a hidden line. Yeah. So after selecting the line, we go to modify components. You click on it, and then we come here. You you click the drop down, and then you see hidden vector hidden vector so you click on hidden vector you say okay when we close from it it's in broken lines now that's what we want 
and then we say finish. Okay. So now what we want to do next is we want to you know uh take our line. We need about six inches down. So after getting our six inches, you drag this out like that. Just I want it to be about um more than the the eave level. That's why I'm dragging it out. So you do that. And then you click on this. You drag it out. Like see. Click. And then we want to draw lines here. And then we want another one also here. So we are going to change these lines to match the wall and then we, we give this a different level. Yeah. So we first want to select the house and then we say match because we are going to add these two these lines to the house here. So you say match. We're going to match them. So you select the house, the lines that you are going to match with it. Then you see, you press enter. This pops up. This, um, defining line. Just click defining line. But we are going to change the lines though. But for now, just select defining line. Say OK. So they are now merged. They are now merged. So we can edit. Sorry. So we can edit it. So you click on edit. And then we want to select the two lines. We see modify component. Here we are going to match existing line work. We are going to match it. So you click on this icon here. And then you want to match it with the wall. So you click on the wall. You see subdivision one. You say OK. And then it is done. For this, I'm going to use a thicker line weight so that it can stand out. So medium weight. Um, medium weight objects then we say okay so this is what we have we have a, a bigger a thicker line for our ground floor level and then we have this for that so what i want to do next i say okay so when this is done all we need to do is dimensions dimensions so you want to come here and select ac dimensions and then we want to pick points. So you can click on this, or you can type PP, enter my window to my finished floor level. Press enter. Okay, okay, I just, okay, I have to, yeah. So that we know that the, for the level from the finished floor level to the ground floor level is six inches. That's why I have this here. Yes, so we can leave it there. And then first window is done. You want to select here, and then you want to select here. Press enter. You have that, you drag it out a bit. And then click. So that's the length of the, of the from the finished floor level to the uh, eve level. That's the eve level. You want it to be like that, simple. Mm -hmm. So now let's bring in more information. Yeah, so we are going to bring in this multiple header thing here. And then first, we want to indicate our fascia board. So you click here. And I want to drag it out like so. So the name is going to be Fisher Board. Fisher Board like so. Then you click outside to set it. So I want to click on that. Drag this out a bit. I think we are good.
and change this one to that to that so that it stands out. So I just changed the format. Now it stands out. So what I need to do is I need to select that. Say copy. Then I want to move the copy. Like so. Then I want another one. Let's leave it. Then I want to edit that to um I want to change this to um, roof covering. Roof covering. And then I want to create another header. From here. Like so. Then I want to name this Eve. Eve. Then I want to stretch this out. That's better. So we are done. <laughs> we are done. So one thing that I forgot to do during the roof plan detailing. Yeah. The, the detailing of the roof. If you have not watched that video, I'm going to leave the link down in the description and it's going to pop up somewhere up there. You can check it out. One thing I forgot to do was the slope. I forgot to indicate the slope. Yeah. So I have to do it here. Then I'll copy it to that particular um video. So I'm going to copy it to that editor. Yeah. The drawing editor of that. Where, I, where we have the roof plan there. Yes, I'm going to create the slope here and then move it there. So for the slope, I'm going to take my line. You can use rectangle and then change the sides. But I'm basically going to use a line, a simple to draw with a line. So first, I want to create something like so. And then stretch this out a bit. And then I want to bring this in. So this is going to indicate my slope, just like that. And then I want to select everything and then say join. Join as in join command. I want to join. So they become one entity, like that. Okay, so after doing this, we need text to, to indicate what the slope is. Like that. And then we see we see slope for all slopes. So the 30 degree slope is basically in roof slopes. 30 degree in roof slope is 6.94 is to 12. You can approximate it to 7. But when you do that, we know numbers. Once there is an approximation, it's just going to increase. If you make it seven, it gives it a different number. It makes it a different, um, a different, a different slope. So you don't want to increase or decrease it. You just search. If you don't know, you just search. So let's say seven, 40, you just search. And then you're going to get the eating ratio. So like 40 degree slope in ratio, you're going to get it. That's all. So we have that. The next thing I want to do is I want to select everything and then move this up a bit. Just like that. And then So that's going to indicate my slope. And then this is done. Just like that. It is done. Yeah. It's done. So this is basically what we want. 
we have our dimensions and everything okay so we need to indicate our finished floor level and then our ground floor level so i'm just going to draw something here like so and we see finished floor level like that and then we want to select this create a copy move this copy to uh Move this copy here. Escape. We want to edit this. So double click on it. And then we want to change it to ground level. So ground level, finished floor level. Simple. <laughs> That's all. So this is what we want to achieve. So now, anybody reading it knows that okay, this is the the height. You don't do the the what's the word the the horizontal dimensions. Sorry, so you don't do horizontal dimensions. It's only the vertical ones that we do in this particular detailing. The horizontal ones we have already done it in the uh, the floor plan. So it's basically the vertical ones. That's what we do here. So this is what we have. And then we are going to create the other one. So for this, it's the same process. I'm just going to fast forward the video. It's the same process. It's the same thing that I'm going to do. So we are going to have this same thing, this same information here. That's all. So. So while this video is going on, we need to fast forward this part actually. While this video is going on, you can, you know, check. You can just subscribe to the channel. Yeah. I'm going to leave a PDF of this whole thing done in the description. You can check it out. I'm sure oh, okay, the the PDF I shown at the beginning of the video is going to be down in the description. So you can check it out. Grab it. Have fun. Yeah. For reference. That's all for reference. So See you later. Okay, so this is basically it. That's it. So we are done detailing our, um, our elevations. That's what you need to achieve the dimensions and everything to show what is happening here. And then we are good. So with this, I would like to end today's video. My name again is Sidno. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do me the favor hit the subscribe button, like this video. Leave us a thumbs up. That's basically to like the video. And then leave us a comment. Tell us something. Let's know who you are, who where you're watching us from. Let's know something about you. Yeah? So, my name again is Signal. See you later. Bye.